I really want to thank you for subscribing to Mental Boxing and being part of the Mental Boxing movement. And this is the Wednesday Wallop. So my intention is to send you a video every Wednesday to inspire, to empower, and to try and get you to look at your lives maybe in a different way. So that's the intention. So who are you? That's my question to you. Do you ever wonder how you ended up the way you ended up? Why you do what you do? The body you have, the relationships you have, the job that you do, why'd you do it? Fascinating, right? That's always been my question. How did I end up as Billy the Boxer? I believe there's always a reason why we do what we do. And I want to share with you my reason why I become Billy the Boxer. So there I am, five years of age, in my mum and dad's front room with my two older sisters, Mandy and Lisa. Lisa's eight and Mandy's 11. And we're rolling around the floor and they're beating me up again. I've got Lisa sitting on my chest, Mandy's got my arms pinned back and I'm kicking and screaming and fighting. I just couldn't fight him off. Now I used to get so upset, I used to hyperventilate and turn blue. I couldn't breathe, I thought I was gonna die. Like, oh. And what they used to do, they both had beautiful long blonde hair and as I'm pinned to the floor, they used to wave their hair in my face. And they used to sing to me, Billy, don't be a hero, don't be a fool with your life. Do you remember that song? Oh, and it was in that moment I made the decision. I decided that no one was ever gonna beat me, dominate me, hurt me, or get on top of me ever again, especially women. <laughs> but in that very same moment, I made an unconscious decision about myself. I decided that I was weak. I couldn't fight my sisters off, so I must be weak. That's the kind of thing a five-year-old would say, right? So then that decision I made went into my future. So I had to find a way to prove and cover up that I wasn't weak. And that was why I become a boxer, a fighter. So I want you to look at yourselves and your lives and the decisions that you may have made about yourself. Now, what's your opinion of yourself? We've all got opinions of ourselves, right? My mum says opinions are like belly buttons. We've all got them and they're all different. So is your opinion of yourself, is it inspiring and empowering you to live a life you love with passion, power and purpose? Now when you look in the mirror in the morning, what comes out of your mouth? Is it inspiring, is it uplifting, is it empowering you? Not all the time, right? So just think about that. What is shaping your future? Because we're shaped by our past to a certain degree, but the decisions that we've made about ourselves are not the truth, which is exciting. So what we got is a blank canvas, a future to live into. And who are you gonna be today, tomorrow? Be responsible for who you are. So who are you? Have a think about it. Which brings me to talk about my book, my eagerly awaited book, which has been about, about 18 months in the making. Oh, I'm so delighted. It's with the publishers, it's all done. Now the publisher's given us a few copies. We've got a few copies and oh, it's, been, oh, it's been work. So it's all about what was, had me to become a world champion. The, the three Ds, discipline, dedication, and desire. It's like a triangle. Desire is the starting point of all achievement, the first principle of success. And it's about applying discipline and being dedicated over time to fulfill on your desire. That's what had me become a world champion. That's what had me eventually, on my fourth attempt, achieve my dream and become a world champion. Now that was some journey. Now when I retired from boxing, I kind of got caught up in a negative cycle. Now the negative cycle is an inverted triangle, which is doubt, self-doubt. Do you ever get, do you ever doubt yourself? And do you ever get distracted? Now, distraction ultimately ended up in disappointment. That's the negative cycle. So the book's all about that. It's about being aware of where you're at right now and consciously choosing the future. So that's what the book's all about. So we've been really busy here at Mental Boxing. I am delighted to share with you that this weekend, we're kind of launching the brand, the clothing range, the leisure wear. We got polos, we got t-shirts, we got caps, sweatshirts. So I'm delighted. That's been about 18 months in the making as well. So look out for that. Go and check it out. Go and look at the shop. 
and see what you fancy because we got 25% off this weekend for you guys. So go and have a look. So that's exciting. I'm delivering the Mental Boxing Masterclass to sales teams. I'm working with sales directors, business owners, team leaders. So if you know of anyone who wants their team punching above their weight, winning more often and experiencing more success, that's something I'm doing. So there's loads of great stuff happening. I will let you know about the book and I will also let you know anything that's coming up. So if you want to know anything about me, what I'm up to, I'm an expert in the areas of health, fitness and well-being, mental, physical and nutrition. So I'm going to be sharing with you some special stuff on this Wednesday wallop. So listen, boxing is a great metaphor for life. Be the champion of your world. So commit your dreams, take inspired action and make it happen. This is the Wednesday wallop.